Well, it is becoming almost routine. Every day there are more and more reports of businesses with employees testing positive for COVID-19. So how do you react to that information and what are you supposed to do? That's what John Shumway is looking into this morning. And John, you know, some of these stores, like some of the grocery stores we're seeing, aren't shutting down when they have a positive case. No, they clean around the area where the employee was working. They check the other employees and business goes on. But this really is a comfort level kind of story. It, it all involves how comfortable you feel and how well you feel about your own steps that you're taking to protect yourself. Now, yesterday, for example, we told you about the employee who tested positive at the McIntyre Square Giant Eagle, and the list of businesses notifying us about these positive tests grows every day. So we went out to Giant Eagle, to their parking lot, to see what impact that information was having on shoppers. Well, you got to be careful with it if it's been present, of course, but uh, you still got to live your life. You got to get your groceries and if you take the precautions, wash your hands, wear the mask, uh, make sure you're wiping your groceries down when you get home so your kids aren't affected. Um, you just got to take the proper precautions and still live your life. You have to get out. Just follow the guidelines and I think, I think we'll be okay. It doesn't make me pause at all. I know most stores, well, I would say probably 99% of stores, when they find out an employee has been around someone that's infected or maybe tested positive, they sanitize the store. You know, it, it doesn't prevent me from going back in there at all. And it is important information for those who have a pre-existing condition who may choose to maybe use curbside pickup for a while or home delivery. And Heather, we took this question to Dr. Brian Lamb from Allegheny Health Network. And he has some interesting insight on how we should respond to this kind of information and also about exposure. How much exposure to a person do you really need before you're going to catch this disease? And we'll have that coming up 